very sad case which I was associated with, or I am currently associated with, occurred like this. A woman went in for a normal, typical knee replacement. Nothing special, not a very intricate procedure, a procedure which has been done over and over and over again by the medical community. And 99.9% .9 of the time, there are no complications and things work out. Well, this woman had her knee replacement and everything went fine in the operating room. And after the knee replacement was done, she went to the recovery room. That is when everything started to collapse. Of course, she was in pain. And she was giving pain medication. And the pain remained. And she was giving more pain medication by the physician. The physician ordered pain medication, which was administered by the nurses. At some time after the surgery, the uh, surgeon was relieved and another physician took over the care of the patient. What occurred was that the first doctor did not know what the second doctor did, or the second doctor was not really aware of what the first doctor did, and he ordered additional pain medication, a different type of pain medication. And the nurses who were there really did not question that, nor bring it to the second physician's attention. So this poor woman kept getting more and more pain medication in the recovery room. And this went on and on. At some point, the nurse's shift was ending. So the nurse's shift ended, or was about to end. And there was a period of about an hour and a half or so that this woman was not closely monitored. Unfortunately, that hour and a half became critical. The women's breathing slowed down. It got to a point that she was non-responsive with regard to her breathing. She started to aspirate. Aspirate is that mucus comes up and it blocks her breathing passages and thus brain damage occurred. So this poor woman was brain damaged as a result of this. Of course, once the physicians knew what was going on, they immediately rushed to her aid and tried to do everything they possibly could to resuscitate her. Nonetheless, the damage was done. This poor woman lingered for approximately two and a half weeks and died as a result of this. What went wrong there? Well, what went wrong was the protocol, the accepted way to treat someone in post-operative was not followed. There was many different problems that went on. The second doctor was not unaware of what the first doctor did. And the nurses who were there, who were there for the first doctor, and when he was relieved by the second doctor, did not pick up that they needed to notify the second doctor what the first doctor did. So they let everything go by. And they, you know, these were good quality nurses, good quality doctors, but sometimes mistakes do happen. And unfortunately, this poor woman passed away 